G'day guys, Crunch Tom here. Welcome back to another Reptile video. First of all, just want to say sorry that I've uploaded very late. I've been kind of busy the last few weeks and um, was uploading a lot of videos as well. So in my answer, it's a coastal jungle carpet python, a Murray. He's a hybrid. And um, he just recently shed last night. So if I put him underneath a bit of light, you see his coloration comes out a bit more. There you go. So yeah, he's a two year, two and a half, I think, almost three years of age. Don't go near our cage enclosure, Mister. Let's just put him on the floor. So yeah, um, he's twenty three in November this year, and um, yeah, feeding him large adult um, or adult mice. And yeah, so you got Sip Sun Grain there, I'll get back to him in a minute. So that's him. Um, I'll be back guys, just putting the iPad down and put this little fellow away. Come on, Murray. Well, I'll leave the link in the description for the video for um, him shedding his skin. And I might as well leave it in the comments as well so you guys can have easy access. So let's move on to the next reptile. Okay guys, moving on to the next animal. So this is Akko. She's an eastern water dragon. She's about um, three, hang on. Yeah, she's three years old. And um, at the moment she's in a three foot enclosure. But, um, or three foot by about one and a half foot there, by one and a half foot there. But um, let me know you guys, she's about two feet long. But by the end of the new year she will be put into an outdoor enclosure. Which um, my mum and dad and I are talking about, and also myself, for my crickets. Um, so, yeah, give her a bit of a clue. She's getting more at ease. She's getting more at ease with the camera now. She goes in the water. I offered her some food, but she didn't want any. But um, I know a reptile, my next reptile will always take a bit of food. So, yeah, just some sticks. And a vine going across, a hide, food bowl there, the animal itself in there. Just a um, 50 watt heat globe. Since it's coming to summer, all my animals will have 50, 50 volts in them. And you got UV. Now, these ones have a blue tongue, so also these guys don't really eat that much either. So there's blue sticking out there, blow there. Um, a couple of hides you can go in. That's a bit of soil so they can dig underneath it. Couple of few highs, big water bowl, food bowl. These guys and the water dragon eat the same thing. So they eat bok choy, um, carrot, mushroom, my dog food, and that. And yeah, now these guys are six years of age. Um, I've got them on Australia Day, so can't get any Aussier than that. And um, but he's not really happy about the camera being in his way, so I'll just, I think he's the biggest one out of the two, 45 centimetres, I know because he's pretty easy to uh, measure, she on the other hand does not sit still, so that's him, which was a bit darker than any other species of um, blue tongues is because they're found on the east coast of Australia, and some places where they live, such as where I'm living now, it gets cold in winter. So they have the dark skin to um, absorb the heat a lot quicker, such as, if, as you know, it's black absorbs a lot more heat than white does. So that's why they're um, pretty much as well. Another reason why I have been um, uploading videos was um, I was going to upload one day, but then a fuse in the um, thing blew, so I had to change it, and also the light just went bang as well. As well, so I had to get a new one. That so, yeah, these guys will be staying here for the rest of their lives. Really, four, four foot tank, about one, two feet, probably two feet, one and a half. Sorry, so it's a big enclosure for them. They'll live for 25 years. Same with the war dragons, 
Every raptor I've got can live from 25 to 30 years of age, but the bearded dragons only last anywhere from 10 to 12 years of age, unfortunately. So that's blue there. I could tell by a couple of pants, because you can see he's got a bit of brown in him. He's all black, pretty much. Blue. So yeah. Also, thanks guys for letting me know you, you love these guys. That's good. Oh, every time I make a video, these guys are always being it. So that blue doesn't really like me, but blue doesn't mind the comfort. <laughs> what, I, what, I'm, what I'm talking about. Blue hates everyone except his brother. Yes, they're both males. Put a female in here, and so then they will fight. But I'm not doing that. I might separate them when I will. You know, breed them. I'm hoping to get a female one day. But I'm moving on to Super Saiyan Graham. I'll just get a lot, guys, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, in here, there's two blind spotted pythons. Both seven years of age this year. So I had them for about seven years. So the one in the high there is Superstar. And the one sitting next to him is Graham. There's a giant food. Uh, no, <laughs> These guys are fed with adult mice. Uh, you got a water bowl, plant at the back there. Hide there, a branch to go across, a couple other hides, then a hundred um, volt red hit globe. That's the only hundred water I'll ever use for these guys. Since there's two of them. So last night I uh, saw a superstar curled up like right there, basking. So I won't put up a photo after I do this little segment. You don't like to like um, Graham and yeah, superstar. Oh, that's bright. Just hand off, guys. Can't hand off. But I've trained Superstar, well I'm not sure about Graham yet because he hasn't done it yet, but I've actually trained Superstar to come out of the enclosure by himself. Come on. It's a bit dark at the moment guys, but if I just give you guys a bit of light. Come on. Come on. See? Seven years of having a snake, if this was a baby or it would never handled this one, then it would have bit me right now. See? I just want to light up a bit so he doesn't be affected by it. See? He's comfortable. You can see Graham in the back of there. See? Look, I can actually stroke him with and lift the chin. See, Graham's coming over. Oops, sorry guys. See, Graham's coming over too. Tells you how much trust they're getting on me. So yeah, they're good snakes. I think they're both females, by the way. So yeah, and then um, my mate, my mate, Striker Daniel FTW, he's got a baby. He thinks he's a male, and I'm hoping that um, we can breed him. Because you see, there's two different colors of them. That's why I can tell them from apart. Plus, Graham is, you know, a bit more shy than Superstar. See the difference there. Between the blonde colour. So yeah, um these guys, um with super uh, he's about like I had the other day because these guys grow about one point two meters. Um the male blue tongues and will grow about um whoops, sorry guys. About forty five centimetres and the females grow like larger than them. Um with Akko, she can grow about 3, 4 feet. These guys can grow 1.2 metres. But, um, with Graham, he's about a metre 30. And I'm not sure about Super Soul because he's no sit steel for me. Don't you, mate? And, um, yeah, basically, yeah, um, the other day I was lying down on the floor with Super Soul alongside me. Looked up and, oh, crap. Super Soul is actually almost as long as me, and I'm five foot nine, I think. And he's about five feet, so he's a long snake. So, yeah, let's get on to the next chapter. What are you doing up there, okay? Alright, let's head on to the beating. <laughs>